Let's hear for five minutes Sandra. Sandra from Serbia. She wants to tell us about her system of behavior therapy in Serbia. Sandra, activate your microphone first. Yes. Hello, you wonderful people. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Professor Stefan Stangaciu. I'm from Belgrade, Serbia. My name is Sandra Milkenovic. I'm a professor of Serbian literature and, and uh, language, but I'm also a big keeper. I have my apiary with 80 hives, uh, from which 50 I use for bee queens to produce a little bee queens. I have my uh, upper chamber, and I would like uh, with a short presentation just uh, to see how we in Serbia do it. Uh, so. I will try to connect with my presentation to show you if you have patience to, to yes. listen to me. Yes. Thank you very much. So, okay, I click uh, to, to, to presentation, yes? Share no, screen. I click to share screen. Share screen first. Okay, okay. okay. And, and I open. click presentation and I click share, right? Uh, okay. No, uh, vice versa. So you should uh, uh, click first on share screen. Give okay. Okay for share screen and then you open the PowerPoint. Okay, uh, do you see it? No. So, uh, wait, go wait, back, wait. go back. Share screen, okay. Give, give okay to the share screen. Yes, I am. Okay, and now uh, minimize and or go, go to the Post disabled, okay. Oh, oh sorry, so, disabled. Oh, so, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Sandra. Wrong. Sorry, Sandra. <laughs> I make okay. you an co-host. Now, now you can, you can share Can I screen. do it again? Yes. Okay, share screen. Oh, okay, I see it. Give, give so, okay, okay. this is a presentation share. Do yes. you see it? It's coming, it's coming, and then click on the presentation. Double click or so. Uh, okay, double click or so. On the, yes. And do you see? Do yes, we, do? we see, we see, and then click on that uh, sign to make it full screen. Uh, this was your presentation for tomorrow, uh, Sandra. Yes, but I have a little one I loved so hard. Uh, he's crying for me uh, all day. Uh, do <laughs> okay. you see it now? <laughs> because... okay. click, click on the, to make it uh, full screen. Down, it's uh, like on a PowerPoint board. or on Zoom? No, no, here, here on the power, on the PowerPoint. On the PowerPoint. Go down and on the right, there is a special sign like, uh, like a glass of wine. Down, 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 down. Down, okay, more down, you. more down, more down. Uh, I do not see your pointer. It's in the uh, right corner next to the zoom area. There is a little button that you can oh, press. Oh, right corner, like, a, okay. Yes, that one. Yes, I, I made yes. it, okay. There uh, you go, the, fantastic. Thank you, dear people, okay. Uh, so this is my team. I don't know if you can read them. I will announce them tomorrow. So uh, let's uh, let's go quickly to the next uh, slide. Okay, this is my uh, apiary. I hope you like it. I uh, keep it clean constantly. Um, I have uh, 80 uh, hives. Uh, 50 of them are, I use for uh, bin, uh, queen bees. Uh, you know all that ethereal va vapors of propolis, honey, beeswax, royal jelly, and perga aromatic substances uh, and uh, uh, phytoncytes of flowers, nectar and bee wax are released from the hive inhabited by, by bees. This infect the air around the apiary. So we won't talk about that. Uh, we will talk, talk about uh, my upper chamber. My upper chamber is a wooden house that is used for inhalations over the hive or lying over the hive, where the people inside it do not have direct uh, contact uh, uh, with, uh, with the bees. Uh, I, uh, both methods are performed in the period from April to mid-September when the bees are active in order to achieve the desired effect of health. Um, uh, it is also important to note that the hives used for this purpose must have strong and healthy bee colonies against varroa during inhalations. The only way to fight ticks is natural with a frame builder. I put frame builder with drones and uh, it works. Um, uh, okay. New slide. This is my son. I, I, he cries all day. I use him for commercial purposes, so I, I hope he doesn't blame me. Uh, inhalations over the hive uh, is done with the help of special masks uh, connected to the fan. The fan is placed on the opening on the hive cover. The potentiometer uh, re regulates the flow of air from the hive, and masks should have a non return uh, valve so that uh, the exhaled air does not return to the hive. 
uh, inhalations are used to prevent diseases by raising the body defense system, which is recommended for athletes, children, and the elderly, as well as to treat certain diseases and conditions of the body. Inhalations over the hive are recommended for follow diseases. You all know uh, what are these diseases, acute disease of the upper respiratory tract, chronic diseases of the upper respiratory tract, diseases of the lower respiratory system, diseases associated with exposure to poisoning and other environmental hazards, chronic headaches and migraines, psychogenic uh, dyspnea, asthenia, atopic dermatitis, and so on. I'm sorry I'm so quick, but I don't want to take your time. Uh, okay, mm, uh, lying over the hives uh, is another uh, method of apitherapy and that can be applied uh, in the apitember. The person lies on his back on a wooden cover under which uh, the hives are placed. At the same time, the legs should be bent at the knees, the arms placed next to the body with the palms facing down. In this way, the person lying down feels the micro vibrations, which are caused by the waves of the bees' wings and in the hive and their work. Uh, it is believed that lying over the hives should last up to an hour or at least 30 minutes for some diseases for the cardiovascular system. The 60 minutes uh, reinforce the human body like eight hours uh, of, of normal sleep. Uh, inhalations over the hive are recommended for the following diseases, acute diseases of the upper respiratory tract, chronic diseases of the upper respiratory tract, diseases of the whole uh, lower respiratory system, diseases associated with exposure to radiation poisoning and other environmental hazards. Okay, in my practice, along with inhalations and lying over hives, I advise my users for the prevention and increase of the general defense ability of the organism and for the purpose of healing who use some of the bees products uh, which I also make. I make uh, in my bee store mix of pollen, propolis, honey and I uh, add uh, a half a gram and half a uh, on a half kilo of product, uh, half a gram of royal jelly because this is uh, very dangerous to consume at a, a higher dose. Uh, you, you know that the royal jelly is, uh, is uh, uh, strong uh, for consumption. Uh, this is my, uh, the entrance on, of my uh, upper chamber. I have seven lungs on the hives in, uh, in upper chamber, and I'm preparing the uh, hives in the mid-September, uh, uh, then inflation stops. Uh, then I lower the hives on the one hive body. So there are two hive bodies. In September, I, I put uh, lower to one hive body. Uh, uh, nature is, uh, is uh, why I'm doing this. I'm putting, back another, I'm putting back another hive body with the new wax basics. Uh, this is important in spring because the bees have to extract new honeycombs in spring. Uh, so nature is abandoned and they collect enough pollen for winter to overwinter. If ne necessary, I feed them. Uh, in Serbia, we have invention called Bata's ring. Uh, this is a special frame. Uh, with honey, uh, uh, bees honey, uh, we put it on the top uh, of the frames. So bees eat uh, their own uh, honey, uh, honey. This is organic food. Uh, there are no uh, sugar or, or something else. As you said, uh, uh, we have to be healthy for this kind uh, of uh, treatments. Um, always is uh, several degrees uh, warmer in the upper chamber. Uh, the bees are active uh, earlier. And I have no losses because I prepare them good for winter and uh, it is warm in the house, so uh, they are protected. Okay, uh, when the snow starts to bloom, I'm adding the wax basics. Uh, by over blooming the fruit, I have extracted another hive body of the wax basics. The hives in the epitamber are in two hive bodies, two boxes. Uh, and these are very, very active. And when you open the door, like you, you, are, you entered uh, the hive, it is, it is uh, uh, beautiful. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, it's the COVID situation. I have to prepare, I have to adjust. So I let two patients in the chamber. Uh, I sterilize. Uh, each patient has, has uh, his own mask. Uh, and I do everything with cooperation with a team uh, of experts and doctors and special apitherapists and beekeepers. Uh, everything is done with cooperation with Dr. Sanya Stanovic. She's a special specialist in pediatric and also certified uh, apitherapist. Uh, these are my bees, uh, my queen bees. Um, there are three beehives under my bench. Uh, buzzing uh, has calming effect. It can put you to sleep. 
And in the yard around the upper chamber, I have 30 beehives and 50 hives for the production of the, of the uh, queen bees. And inhalations is also in the open since bees have positive effect around the hive. This is me without protection. So always carry uh, uh, hats. Uh, this is my team uh, on the second picture. And this is my little helper who is crying uh, <laughs> since <laughs> this morning. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, I'm sorry I've been so uh, fast, and uh, I hope uh, uh, seeing you again. Greetings.